Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. Next, we're going to be pitting the F-150 versus the Rivian on 10 rounds head-to-head -head, next on In-Depth. We'll tell you how you can enter to win a plaid Tesla Model S later in the show. All right, so round one, Jesse. I'm in the bed of the Rivian. I yep. need to get out. I can just do this. And uh, step down. How are you getting out? Very fancy well. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so who wins this round? I've got to be honest. I don't love this design. I, I know that I won't break it, but it doesn't feel that way. <laughs> Everything feels like it's flexing when I'm stepping up in there. And I do want to say I get a gear tunnel out of this whole thing. I feel like Rivian wins this round. I think Rivian does win that round. All right. All right, so next should be the Frunks. Well, I beat you up. Uh, yeah, and it's a bit <laughs> smoother, isn't it? All right, well, let's check out the F-150. I really like that the grill went up so I can get right in here. Yep. Then you, you get have... the sub frunk. Yeah. Not too deep. And um, what I like is, just like in the Rivian, you've got a drain. And can't forget about over here, Power City. And it tells you exactly 2.4 kilowatts. That is double what you can get out of the entire Rivian. And that's just in the front of the Ford. So Rivian obviously doesn't have <laughs> the front grill out of the way, which means that everything's more of a bucket style. It also has a net. And it has a sub frunk. Has its sub frunk. Nicely folds out of the way if you don't have something on it. So I think it has a lot of the same features except for this. I think we lost points there. Well, and I mean, the only power in here is a 12 volt. As opposed to all the different ones in the Ford. Right, I so think this round goes to Ford. It, it kind of has to. Uh, next up, we got to check out the rear seats. All right. I really like the rear seats in the Ford. Look how much space. Look at how much knee room I have. Yeah. I think LeBron James could fit back here with room. The seats are pretty comfy. It's got a middle armrest. I will say that the materials are not my favorite. It's a very cheap leatherette uh, kind of leather. I don't care. I, I feel like a king back here. I don't need a velvet throne. Drive me, driver. Okay. Um, also, you get 12 volt. You also get heated seats. You also get USB. You also get 110 volt charging. And also the width. Let's check that out. Jesse. Jesse. <laughs> what? I mean, look at this. Okay, so this is like me sitting normally, right? There's, Let me come sit next to you. There's space for another person, yeah. Like, it's I'm not sorry, bad. but this is really and, comfy. And for... ready, ready? This oh, is yeah. me shifted. This is me in the back of a Civic, right? Like, All shifted over. But there's look, plenty of room. Look at there. how much extra room there is. It's comfortable. Yeah. Let's go check out the Rivian. Okay, we're in the Rivian now, and it does feel a lot more... Compact. Compact. I don't have quite as much arm room on the left-hand side. Um, I don't have nearly as much leg room. We do have the armrest with the cup holder. Can also reach into the gear tunnel, grab a beer, I mean a soda. Um, <laughs> Let uh, me sit next to you. Oh, okay. Okay, no, first of all, I'm not as comfortable. I'll, I have went up onto some kind of hump. Yep. And I'm really close to you. Yeah. And can you get out of the way as much as you could before? So this is, I'll go into Honda Civic mode. Mm, no, you can't. It's not quite the same. So like this would only be for a short ride. I would yeah. not want to do this uh, normally. How about head height? Head height feels lower. Um, materials are nice. There's uh, USB-C in the headrest there, kind which is kind of a spot. weird spot. There's USB-C here. I actually don't like the screen and here's why. I feel like it's so easy to break it with yeah. either yourself or something you put, throw it into the back seat. The materials are nice. Um, but I would take the space over the materials. I agree. I think this is Ford wins the round. I think so. All right, so next one is storage. And I think we should start off with a bed since it's a pickup truck. And I think the Ford wins. Okay, I'll give it to you in length, 66 versus 54. But Rivian does have a tonneau cover, which means I can cover what's back here and you can't. Okay. I also have storage here. True. And that now that might be where the tire goes. True. And, and the Ford does have a tire. But I've also got storage over here. Do you have that? No. Okay. Uh, what do you got? 
Oh, I got the bed and I, I got the front. We how already about, looked at the front. How about under seat in the rear? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, boom, baby. Um, we can also do this. Look at that. You can fit like a bureau back there. That's, uh, that's something the Rivian can't do. That's something the Rivian can't do, but the Rivian does have underseat storage. Let's take a look at oh, that. Okay, let's take a look. All right, so underseat storage. Rivian's got it, baby. Look at that. Lots of storage in here. Although, I suppose, not quite the uh, same. Subwoofer. And you can't really fit like, a, a big thing back here or anything. Yeah. Uh, then I guess we go back to Frunk. And I think that Ford F-150 wins there. So how would you rate this round? I'm going to say tie, I guess. I mean... I'm going to say Ford wins because the bed is bigger. It really depends on what you're looking for. But in terms of like lockable storage, I would say that the Rivian wins hands down. Okay, so I think tie. All right. How would you like the chance to win a Tesla Model S Plaid? Our friends at the nonprofit Sparrow Worldwide are selling raffle tickets to support the incredible work they do to help rescue our forgotten Afghan allies and get these people to safety. Each time you buy a raffle ticket for 150 bucks, you are supporting the important work they're doing right now and you're getting a chance to win a Model S Plaid. Now, there are only 5,000 tickets available in this raffle, so your chances of winning are good, and the raffle ends on October 1st, and they've only sold about 10% of the tickets, so your chances of winning right now are really good. So don't wait, go to the link below and support this awesome nonprofit and get a chance to win a Tesla Model S Plaid. Go to freedomraffle.org right now for your chance to win. All right, next round is spare tire. Well, I think uh, Ford wins there. <laughs> Full size, baby. I think I'm going to give that to you because even though we could do a spare tire here and we could have ordered it with one, the problem I have is if we had a lot of stuff in the back, there's no getting at the spare tire. Well, but it is nice and hidden away and also aero efficiency. What are you talking about? Having a big tire underneath the car is completely disrupting the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Oh. I think that that's gonna have an effect on aero efficiency. So tie round? Let's call it a tie. So next round is glass roof. I think the Rivian might be a winner because it's got an entire glass roof. I don't know, Zach. Not only does the Ford have a glass roof, but it opens. Oh yeah, that's... Ford wins. All right, so these trucks are really unique. They both have power outlets. You got two 110 outlets there for 1500 watts, and we got one more outlet in the front, but the combined output is 1500 watts. What do you got? <laughs> well, the Ford has uh, got quite a bit of power. Let's start out with the best one, 240 volt, 30 amp, 7.2 kilowatt outlet. Did you say two, 240 volt? Yeah, you could run pretty much anything off of it including car chargers, table saws, welders, anything you'd need at a job site. And for anything smaller, here's a 2.4 kilowatt charging bay at 110. Here's another one. Just these two outlet banks alone is already double the power that the Rivian can put out. Wow. But we're not even done yet. Oh wait, and you got 110 and 12 volt up here, along with USB charging and wireless charging right there. And again, another 2.4 kilowatts max. Whoa. Four outlets and USB charging. Wow, the Rivian doesn't have any big outlets in the front. So I think this is Ford wins hands down. Hands down. I'm just not that impressed by the sound system in this uh, truck. It has half the wattage, so this is about an 850 watt system, uh, eight speaker. Um, it just doesn't, it's a Bang Olsen, but it just doesn't, it's okay. But if we go to the Rivian. Money. All right, so instead of a three band equalizer, we've got a nine band. Um, we've got a lot more surround sound stuff. We can focus the sound stage. Plus this is twice the wattage and twice the speakers. This sound system, sounds really good. It's a Meridian with the subwoofer in the back. Although it's not as good as a Tesla sound system, I would say it equals your Model 3 and it doesn't quite meet a Model X standard, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. 
So I think point goes... Rivian, for sure. All right, so next round is gonna be front seat storage. It's important because you're driving along, you gotta store things. So we got some cup holders. It's not gonna fit the largest water bottles and neither are your door pockets over here. Well, maybe, but not elegantly. You got your center console storage, which is deep, but narrow. Deep, but narrow, not great for managing everything. I will say I've been enjoying putting my phone here, which is a wireless charger. Sure. And there's no glove compartment. So where do you keep your important paperwork? I guess in these little tiny under seat storage places. Let's go check out the Ford. All right, so we're in the Ford. It's got basically the same size cup holders. It's got quite a bit of room here for your phone with a wireless charger as well and some USB chargers up here. This isn't really a pocket because it's for folding this way, so don't put your stuff in there. You've got this massive section in here with a little organizer so you can put your business cards and, and your coins. Bigger than on the Rivian for sure. You've also got your glove compartment times two. And you got a lot more door storage. Uh, look at that, you got two levels. Oh, and don't forget there's one more thing you need to store. Your sunglasses. And I don't know if this counts as storage, but you can flip this out. Yeah, I wouldn't count it as storage, but I do think that the Ford wins this one hands down. Oh, wait. Put your phone up there for some reason, okay. place. All right, Jesse, the final round is air conditioning. Really important, many months of the year. Uh, let's see what this one can do. Let's blast it. Goes up to seven. You got your uh, your vents. So we've been driving this around in 80 plus degree weather. It gets cold really fast. And uh, I would say, even though it's old school, like how to adjust these, it's very functional and it works. And I've been very happy with it. Now add to that, that we have got this, which is cooled seat seats. Cool. Yeah. And the cooled seats are nice. It goes all the way up basically to your shoulders. And the, the cooled seats are almost instantaneous. You, you get them as soon as you turn it on, it goes all the way up your back. I love it. Let's go see the Rivian. All right, now we're in the Rivian. What do we got? I'll set it to blasting. We'll set the temperature down to low. And so you adjust your vents here in the yep. screen and you got two on each side. And so you can kind of see them moving all on their own. Um, the one thing that I'm not a big fan of is how loud they are and how little air actually can fit out of them. You also do get the cooled seats, three levels of it. True. Um, it's pretty effective. I would say that the Ford still wins the cooled seat race. It, you know, the Ford just cools down faster. It's been taking the Rivian a little bit longer. So I would say just slightly edged out, I think Ford wins this round. All right, so we just went head to head, 10 rounds, Ford versus Rivian, let's recap. Stepping into the bed, the Rivian one. Yep. Frunk, Ford one. Yep. Rear seats, Ford one. Yep. Storage was a tie. Yep. Spare tire was a tie. The glass roof went to the Ford. The power outlets went to the Ford. Sound system went to the Rivian. Front seat storage went to the Ford. And the AC went to the Ford. So what we got is Ford six, Rivian two, and two of them are a tie, I think. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Ford wins this uh, 10 round. Now we're gonna be doing a lot more different reviews, head-to-head uh, -head kind of competitions. I think it's valuable comparing the two trucks uh, against each other because that way you kind of have a frame of reference besides me being like, well, you know, I like my Model 3, but of course these are both trucks. Exactly, so comment down below what you'd like us to do with these two trucks. We're gonna be doing a lot more charging, testing their range, towing. So make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel so that way you don't miss any of our head-to-heads because we bought both of these trucks and we don't have to kiss butt to any of the manufacturers. Thank you so much for watching this in depth. Now, now you know. You know.